When I was younger, I, I was a very avid reader and I remember going to the library and basically reading like every fantasy novel in the young adult section and then ending up like moving on to the adult fantasy novels when I ran out. When I got into high school, I started really enjoying my science classes and it got me really interested in reading popular science books. A friend introduced me to How the Universe Got Its Spots by Jan 11, which ended up being one of my favorite books and that's how I learned about Barnard because she's a physics professor here. As a freshman, I got involved with the Columbia University Science Fiction Society. Um, it's called the Science Fiction Society, but it's actually inclusive of fantasy and pretty much any other like nerdy thing you can imagine. This year we had an intro to anime night and we have like intro to video games. And because I know that a lot of those things can seem intimidating to people who maybe didn't grow up with them and aren't so like entrenched in the nerd culture. But I think that it is something that everyone can enjoy. And that's really the atmosphere that we try to have. One thing that we try to focus on as a community is promoting diversity in science fiction and fantasy because oftentimes the kind of fandom community can feel very exclusive and very focused on the kind of traditional like white male nerd narrative. And one meeting that we have every year is called Off the Beaten Path, where we talk about works of fiction in TV or film or books that have um, creators who are women or people of color who maybe haven't gotten the recognition that they deserve. So one of our most popular events of the semester, we do it every single semester, is called Fandom Deathmatch. We make a tournament bracket and we let people enter a character who they think is like the most badass, could beat any other fictional character in a cage match kind of character and we do like one minute long debates and we vote and see which character emerges victorious at the end. When I got to Barnard, I just felt like I immediately clicked with the physics department here. Um, I really liked how it was very small and I felt like you could get to know the professors really well. I did an REU program, which stands for Research Experience for Undergraduates through the National Science Foundation. So I got to go work in a high pressure physics lab at the University of Utah. In the fall next year, I'm actually planning on starting a PhD program in physics at the University of Utah. Um, so I'll be going back to where I did research last summer.